What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked level ladder with this G-Max Grim Snarl team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channels. We just recently passed 3,000 subs and it is amazing. Thank you guys so much. But rocking out on this team, you guys already know the deal. We got a G-Max Grim Snarl and his G-Max move is actually G-Max Snooze, which is like a double yawn to both of the opponent's Pokemon. So that is going to be awesome. We can eventually put them to sleep and control the whole match. Grim Snarl has that Assault Vest with Frisk so we can see opponent's items. Spirit Break for Stab, Sucker Punch for Stab, Power Whip for a big coverage grab move, and Fake Out as well. We also have the Sneasel on this team which pairs up with Grim Snarl very well as it can be a nice lead for a Fake Out as Screech as well to lower the defense so Grim Snarl can actually just dominate and go from there. It can slow him down with Icy Wind and it has first turn priority with Ice Shard. We have a Life Orb regular Darmanitan right here with Sheer Force. This thing is just an absolute beast. It has all these different coverage moves and one stab move with Flare Blitz, EQ, Rock Side, and Superpower. So Dynamax this thing or keep it regular it is going to be able to do some work all around. Next up, we got Togekiss right here, but Beery Berry, just a normal Togekiss right here with Follow Me, Helping Hand, Heat Wave, and Air Slash. Just a nice little support mod to have. Also, Exedrill, you guys already know about Big Boy Exedrill. He's just a beast on all teams. He has a weakness policy with his normal moveset of Iron Head, High Horsepower, Rock Side, and Protect. Then in the final spot, we got normal Primarina, which is so, so good with Hyper Voice with the Liquid Voice Mix of Water, Dazzle Gleam, Aqua Jet for first time priority, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with this team. But without further ado, let's hop on that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this G-Max Crimson Arl team. First battle coming at you guys. We're going to get right after it and lead this G-Max Crimson Arl and try to show him off in this first battle. This guy has a G-Max Pikachu team with ooh, with a Butterfree with Sleep Powder. That's a little scary. That's a little scary. Wim's Cop for the Tailwind. Probably G-Max Lapras, Arcanine, and Extra. Okay. Okay, so two different G-Maxes here with the Pikachu and the Lapras. I still think this is a nice lead. I still think we can rock out here and we can go into Sneasel as well. Um, who else can we bring here? So Darmantan could be pretty useful. Yeah, let's go Darmantan. He rocks out here. Darmantan and then either Tokus or Primarina. Someone in the back end. Who we want? I think uh, Tokus is going to come and clutch here as a nice little support mod. Let's get it rolling. Let's get it rolling. All right. Let's go, let's go. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, the Drift Blim team, that has been my favorite team in this new season. We pushed on our stream for a good two hours. If you guys haven't checked out my streams, link in the description below, Genes25 on Twitch. But we did push on the rank ladder with that team, and I went like 11-2. and two. I was absolutely dominating with this that team. So if you guys do need a brand new team for the new season to push rank ladder, I highly recommend checking out that last video. It is awesome, it is awesome. But he leads Pikachu and Whimsy Poop. So potential Dynamax here. Um, hmm, how should I play this one? I should play this one. Um, do I fake out the Pikachu? Well, Pikachu's a potential Dynamax. I say I fake out the, uh, the Whimsy. Yeah, let's fake out the Whimsy and Dynamax right off the rip. Or I can go for a double fake out. Hmm, no, double fake out wouldn't really do me, do me well, anything. And go for a G-Max Snooze, though. G-Max Snooze over on the Pikachu, and then we're gonna fake out a nice little Tailwind user. Nice little Tailwind user so he doesn't get the Tailwind off and potentially outspeed my Grimmy Poo. But we can still roll out here and do some work. Let's get it. He's going to Dynamax that Pikachu. Oh, we're here we go. Let's get it. So no Tailwind for him. He's probably going to outspeed me because Pikachu's rather fast. And he's going to go for that big G-Max full crash to paralyze both my mons. Wait, I love the sound. Come on. Come on. Peek. <laughs> Peek. <laughs> he cracks me up every single time. But he leads the G-Max and we're going to G-Max as well. What you want, fool? We come for that G-Max soon. So if I can just pull this off, let's just put both of them to sleep. Sleep and just roll out from there. But Pikachu's big old control mine. We are assault vested though. My Grim Snarl is Assault Vested, so we're, we should be able to eat up a nice little shot here. Hopefully the Paralyze just doesn't, like, make us not miss a turn. That'd be so whack. That'd be so whack. But, dude, he looks like an absolute unit. Like, this dude's been to the gym, like, a thousand days in a row. Seems to go for a fake out. Yoy! Let's get it. You won't flinch. Does Grim Snarl go first? No, Pikachu still gets the Volt Crash off, and he goes after Sneezy. He goes after Sneezy Poo. And Sneezy Poo eats that up with that evil Light easily. Easily, baby. Nice, but he gets a Paralyze on both of us, which is a little tough. Hopefully, Grim Snarl can actually make a move here. Get rolling. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it, I thought it happened. I thought it happened. <laughs> I thought he wasn't able to make a move. But we end up one-tapping this Pikachu, and uh, Wimscott will go to sleep very, very soon. Get out of here, Pikachu. I thought I saw it say uh, Grim Snarl is Paralyzed, but beautiful. He gets the double Paralyze, but we take out his G-Max, so I still think we won that trade. I still think we won that trade. We also, has, uh, we also have Ice Shard and Icy Wind as well. He wants to slow down. He goes x -key. He goes x -drill, so I gotta watch out for that Iron Head. The Iron Head, but we still have our boy Darmantan in the back end. Uh, do I snooze again? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to snooze again. I'm definitely gonna put a snooze over on you. 
and then Icy Wind to slow down, or do I Screech? Man, I know this thing's not Focus Ash, but I think I'm going to Screech. I think I am going to Screech. Just drop defense and potentially just one-tap that thing. Let's get it. Let's see what happens here. Rock Side comes through. Probably going to take out Sneeze. Sneeze, you eat. Nope, Sneeze does not eat. He's super effective on it. Takes it out, but we're still looking pretty well. We're looking, we're looking not bad. Uh, what's Wind's guy's gonna go for it? Energy ball. Okay. Hopefully we're not paralyzed. Hopefully we can at least move here. He's gonna lower our special defense. That's fine. And G Max News is gonna come out here. Big plays. So no tailwind for him. Wind's guy's gonna go to sleep, and we just dump on extra drill just like that. Yo, it's too easy with this team. This team's just running. I'm getting out my boy uh, Darmantan. So now we got two big attackers in here with the Grim Snarl. Dude, he's hitting like a truck. He's not even like a life orb or anything. No boost. He's just tapping up on boost. And now our big attacker's coming out here. Regular Darmantan. He is awesome, dude. This is dope. Because I haven't used him yet. I only used the Galarian one. But he looks so sick. Intimidate's actually gonna... It's gonna be pretty bad up against both these guys. These are both physical attackers. Um, which guy should be going to sleep here, right? No. No. Why not? I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused to why it's not. I guess... Did it set up like a train or something? Let's see. Let me see if I can look at him. No, nothing happened. Come to my snooze. Right? Does this put like a yawn on him? Let's see. Hmm. Let's add a huge yawn. Lulls it into falling asleep. Yeah. Why? Hmm. The target. I guess it didn't. I don't even know. I'm confused, but still, we're, we're out here running some things. Uh, Starfall. I might go for another snooze just in case. Yeah, I'm going to go snooze here, and I'm just going to absolutely run a flare blitz. Yeah, I'm just going to run a flare, but let's take out the wind scott and then a snooze over on the Arcanine. Let's see what happens here. Iron Head comes out. We should be able to eat. Yep, we do eat that one up. Hopefully, he doesn't double up into us. He does double up into us. Can we eat? Ah, we do not eat, but we should be able to one-tap this wind scott and turn it into a 2v1 situation. We got this one in the bag. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. We have Toe Kiss. We can just go for Follow Me next turn and just run it. Big old life orb damage with Cheer Force. So, boop. See you later. See you later, kid. It comes down to 2v1. So first match, not bad. Not bad. Played pretty, pretty well. But if you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below why that uh, Wimscott didn't end up going to sleep. This, like, I have no idea. I'm rather confused because I thought it was a yawn and it should have put him to sleep. But it did not. So if you guys know, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But Tokus pops out. What you want? Yo, look at our man, Dan. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do I just follow me? Or I'm actually just going to. A helping hand. I'm just going to follow me. I'm just going to follow me. Play this one super, super safe. And then just drop an EQ. Right, EQ is probably our best bet instead of a rock slide. Hey, yo, EQ this boy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Sheer force with that life orb. Let's see what happens here. Follow um, me comes out. I wonder if this thing's throwing a heat wave. Like, what's, what's this Arcanine going to do? It's definitely outspeeding me. An iron head. And a Babiri Berry pops out. Nice little Babiri Berry. Half that damage. And it's not stabbed, so that should be eaten up very, very well. Here comes EQ. Does not affect Togi. And can it pick up the KO? And we pick it up. It's not stab. We do not pick it up. It should be good. Another EQ just should uh, should be able to finish off this match. Hmm. But good helping hand before I go. I'm just following me this one. I think Tokus goes down here and then EQ cleans it up. He needs us to miss. He needs us to miss somehow. Or he needs to dodge it. I think that's the only way. I think that's the only way because this is 100% accuracy. So I think he needs to dodge it. Let's see. Iron Head comes out. Takes out Togi Togi. And we just need Landis. We just need Landis. And it's GG. Match 1 is in the bag. Come on. Show it to me, baby. EQ. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's go. 1-0 with this team. We're going to be hopping into battle number 2. And trying to go 2-0. I'm really liking it so far. I'm really liking this team so far. Let's see how it turns out after the next battle. Second battle on its way. This guy has a Shell Smash Blastoid team. Has the Incineroar with Intimidate. I wish we had like a Defiant Pokemon or something cool along those lines. But um, who do I think he's going to go? I think probably Tokus into uh togekiss into blastoids for the shell smash i think another safe lead is going to be sneezy and grimmy poo again i think that's safe i think that's safe to say and then we can roll into darmantan he rocks out so good and then in the final spot either extra drill or primarina extra drill or primarina i think extra drill kind of cleans up way way better yeah, let's go Xy. Let's get extra up in here, especially it's weakness policy too. And maybe you can trigger it with that Incineroar, or um, I don't even know who would trigger it. Because usually extra will, extra will die in one shot to usually fire moves. So something like maybe the extra will hit us with an EQ and us eating it up, something along those lines. Well, let's see. Let's get it. Um, Sneasel. I'm actually really liking Sneasel. I think Sneasel is awesome as a good fake out user right off the bat. It can eat up a shot, and then eventually it can screech and decrease its uh the Pokemon's defense, and then we can start one tapping left or right. But I'm surprised of how hard that Grimstar will hit in that first battle. Like, 
the first two Pokemon just went down so easily. There was no defense shops, no attack boost, none of that. None of that going on, and we're still one-tapping fools left and right. Dude, I'm so thirsty today. I just got done working on that. I was working for a good bit. And I don't know. I work out in the sun, and when I get home, I just want to drink so much. I just drink so much. I don't know why. I'm just thirsty for the rest of the day. But yeah, so if you guys see me sipping on my drink a lot, that is why. That is why. He goes rough time and extra drill. Uh, bu -bu -bum. We go Sneasel, Gurimi, Poo. Um, who do I fake out? Like, I want to fake out extra drill, but I can see a Dynamax extra drill coming here. Like, facts, right? Facts, right? Or do I Icy Wind turn one? Slow that thing down and then eventually get thrown at it. Hmm. Fake out? We gotta fake out the road, Tom. Um. I said I go with for the G-Max snooze. Over on Drilly Poo. Over on Drill, I think he might Dynamax and it's gonna get a little scary here. Cause if he one taps me, then it's like, bruh, game's over. Let's see. I don't think he does, unless my Grim Strong just outspeeds. But I don't think he Dynamaxes here. I think Iron Head's still gonna do a heaping amount to us, but not take us out. No way, so 400. Unless he gets a crit. Unless he gets a crit. But you know my luck. He'll, he's probably gonna get a crit. Big Jack Boy. Big uh, gym guy right here. Gets Dynamax. It's 340 HP. I thought I saw 400. I guess, I, I, guess, I guess I'm losing it. It's alright. Fake out comes out. Bang on that. I wish I would have I wish I would have faked out the extra drill now. But we eat up very, very easily. I can icy win next turn. I can icy win next turn too and slow down both these Pokemon. And here comes the snooze. Boom! Do we want that? We'll bring it down low. Uh I think I just ice shard that and take that out, right? Do I just ice shard that and take it out? I should be able to take it out. I believe so. And then uh go into a Marvel? Good set to start faltering. Hmm. Misty Train did a stab as well, so yeah, let's go for that. Get that going. Ice Shark comes out. Come on, take out the extra. Please! Please! Yes! <laughs> I thought I was gonna leave him on one. I seriously thought I was gonna leave him on one, but Ice Shark comes up clutch. He's gonna go for a nasty pot. This is gonna be huge for us. This, we're gonna get some big damage off here. I can eventually Icy Win this as well. Or not Icy Win, Ice Shard it. It is super effective, so if we bring it down to a low, uh, Low number, we should be able to do some big damage. Unless we take it out here. Let's go. Let's go. This team. This team too good. He still has his Dynamax though, so. So I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. But Sneasel's rather fast. Maybe I can outspeed and drop an Icy Wind, slow down their Pokemon, and then get another Snooze off? That can be very, very nice. Be very, very nice. Does Blastoise in the Tokus? Is it Blastoise Tokus? Okay, yeah. So potential Shell Smash here. I definitely gotta slow down with the icy wind. Slow these boys down. Oh there, oh there, oh there. Icy wind. And then uh it's G Max Snoozy Poo. Over on Blastoise. Over on Blastoise. Yep, follow me comes out. He's shell smashing. He's shell smashing. Well Darmantan doesn't really stand a chance here. Oh, neither is extra drill. Icy wind comes out. Pokus avoids it. Okay, as long as it hits that Blastoise, I'm cool with it. So slow down Blastoise before he shell smashes. A little bit of speed drop. And then G-Max Snooze is going to pop out here. Oh, dude, we wasted his herb. We wasted his white herb. That is huge. That's honestly huge. Yes. So his defensive stats are really, really low. His defensive stats are very, very low here. So if we can just get off one shot on him, he's potentially dead. He's potentially dead here. Let's see what happens here. Here goes our Snooze. I'll put someone to sleep. Hopefully, like, I'm wondering where it's at. These guys should be both yawned. It's not very effective. But I don't, like, I'm, I'm not getting this. Like, shouldn't it say something like, oh, they're both yawned on or something along those lines? But now he's definitely going to Dynamax. Um. Can I swap Sneeze? Can I swap Sneeze? I think he's just going to follow me out. No, I don't, I don't think we, we swap Sneeze. I said we just start slowing this thing down with Icy Winds. Yeah, let's start slowing these down, and I could go for Sucker Punch. Or Power Whip. Um, I mean, if this thing doesn't attack, you know? The Spirit Break's probably called. We're gonna go for a Spirit Break. What you want, fool? Water Spout comes out. No Dynamax. Oh, oh, damn. Smart play by him. My Sneasel does eat. He's gonna be able to start slowing these Pokemans down. He's gonna start slowing these Pokemans down. Maybe Extra can outspeed at this time. Because what is he? He's plus one now, or is he plus two? He might be plus two. We get a nice little damage off on that thing. Please show me that thing's not weak as policy. Speed drop, which is huge. Hopefully Sneasel can outspeed again and get another speed drop. Oh no, that's when he comes out. I lied, I forgot about Togus. <laughs> Togus get, gets Dazzling Gleam out here. 
That was smart for him to go into that water spell. He knew he was out speed. He knew he, knew he was doing big damage. We go Darmanitan into Excadrill. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> this one's going to be close. We might lose this one. Ew. But, yo, Darmanitan's looking sick. Just regular one. He looks so funny, man. We break the mold. And I think I just dropped maybe a double rock slide. I think double rock slide's a call. No lie. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it now. This thing's Babiri buried. This thing is Babiri buried. I'm calling it. No kiss goes for following me. I'm telling you, this thing is Babiri buried out the buns. Let's see who outspeeds. Does Blastoise go first? No, Water Spot again. Oh, he does go first. This might double KO and get him the win. Ah! Jeez, dude. Jeez, this thing's an absolute beast. GG to that guy. Shell Smash coming up clutch. Boosting his attack. He didn't even Dynamax. He just went straight for that, uh, those water spouts. Because the more HP you have, the more damage it does. So with those plus uh, special attacks, it was just one tap of my team. Sitting at 1-1 one one with this team, we're going for a winning record. This guy is a Decorate Al Kramay team. So I think I'm going to actually lead a Togekiss. And try to potentially go into a Follow Me and lead a Decorate towards me. Something along those lines. And then bring Excadrill. And Excadrill can work out well here. Uh, do I even bring Grimstar? I definitely want Darmanitan. Potential Dynamax for him. And then uh, Grimstar or... Primarina. I said we go Primarina. Show some Primarina love here. I mean, if he goes Trick Room, he'll go Trick Room. I mean, why would he go Trick Room? If he goes, maybe if he goes uh, Lapras team. I mean, that's fine at that point. Hmm. Hmm. Then maybe I could just go for an Air Slash and try to flinch it. Okay, let's rock out with this team. It's two G Max Pokemon with the Lapras and the uh, Peek Peek and the Big Peek. But last battle, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. We came out looking strong, but then that Blast, so just Shell Smash Blast, so he's just so strong. You guys know he's so tough to counter. Unless you have, like, a Doral down with Stalwart, you can just go through the Follow Me's and slap up from there. Let's see, let's see who this guy leads. He goes Grimstarl and Quovenite. Is this, is this a G-Max Grimstarl? I doubt it. I doubt it. I highly doubt it, but do we have Heat Wave or Daz Dazzling Gleam? I think we might have Heat Wave and Air Slash. Let's see. Mold Breaker. Yes, sir. I'm hoping we have Heat Wave on this thing. You do. Okay, so we can double in with the Heat Wave. Then I can pop off a nice little Iron Head over into the Grimmy Pill. Over into the Grimmy Pill. I don't really like that this uh, extra has weakness policy on him. I think I'd rather give it like a Focus Ash or something along those lines. But he's going to Dynamax turn one. Ooh, ooh, fancy, fancy. G Max Grimstar? G Max Corvo Knight? Something along those lines. What's he got? G Max Corvo. Ew, yo, we're seeing some awesome G Maxes today. No, G Max Corvo just breaks screens. Which isn't too bad. I, th I think we can uh, counter this up pretty well. Especially if we get a burn on this thing. That could be absolutely huge with this heat wave. He's going to go for a nice little reflect. Can he break his own screens? That would be hilarious. If he breaks his own screen. <laughs> We're going to go for a nice little iron head. Ay -ay. How much damage are we doing? Still a decent amount. Good to reflect. And heat wave comes out. Show me a burn on that Corvo. Show me a burn on that Corvo. And show me it's not weakness policy, hopefully. It's not weakness policy. Steel Spike comes out here. But very, very popping. So, we're going to get a defense boost as well. Got to watch out for that. Got to watch out for that. Eat this up, Tokus. Tokus eats that up wonderfully. Nice shot, Tokus. Defense boost comes out. Ah, leave him alone. And we're going to go for another burn chance here with the Heat Wave into another Iron Head. Potentially take out the Grimmsnarl. Very, very coming in clutch. But I'm telling you, if I can get off this burn into this uh, Corvo Knight, that could be so big. It could be so big. Just drop his physical attack. And I don't really like G-Max Corvo Knight too, too much. I think, I think it's average. I think, it's, I think it's average. I think it's I. <laughs> but he paralyzes our Tokus, toke, so it's going to be slower than the Corvo right now. Iron Head comes out here. He, take out? KO? Bro! Bro, what you mean? Oh, a Knuckle comes out. Okay. He's going to boost attack now. Never mind. All right. I thought you were taking out Tokus. That would have been a smart play. I thought that is why you paralyze him. Take out the Tokus, but guess not. He's going to boost attack, and this Heat Wave is going to come out here. Weakness policy, baby. Oh my lord, I totally forgot about that. That's I was just dissing on this thing. He wave comes out, takes out Grimstrong. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give it to me. Give it to me. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Big burn. So next turn, he's not going to do too, too much. Do I Dynamax here? Do I Dynamax here? That's my question. Um, I don't think we Dynamax. I think we save it. Especially since he has a Reflect up. We could go with Primarina. Or I could drop a big rock on this thing. I have a feeling this thing might protect, but Rock Slide should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. Um, I'm going to go for a follow here. He might actually go alive a lot longer, and I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide. Nice Rock Slide on this thing. Nice, wonderful Rock Slide. Here we go. Follow me. Come here. Over here. Keep this extra draw alive a little bit longer, as it has that weakness policy, so he's going to be able to do some bigger damage. 
That's some nice damage to that Lapras. Can we make this thing flinch? Or is this thing policy? Hmm. Ah! Maybe I should have Dimex and just drop the Rock Art. So I'd see you later. But that Reflex coming up clutch. Heal Spike comes out here, and he's gonna actually dump, get a double kill here. Hold the phone! Hold the phone! I'm gonna spit my drink out! Togekiss survives, so no double kill. He's gonna have to go after Togekiss. Lapras flinches! Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! Oh my, oh my lord, oh my, oh my lord. Let's get it. Uh, another follow me coming out here. Or do I helping hand? I'm gonna go helping hand here. I'm gonna go rock slide. Another rock slide, going for the flinches. Because that burn, I'm telling you, that burn's come up clutch. Big burn, baby. Tokus gets that helping hand off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Extra drops a rock slide. Connects on both. How much damage are we doing? Not bad damage. That reflex keeping them keeping them good right here. This little citrus berry? A guab? I, nah, that's a citrus berry. Citrus berry gets popping. And Bati Press comes out from Corviknight over onto you. And Extra eats. This thing going with muddy water. Does it have that? It's just gonna go for a freeze dry and take out Tokus. Okay, fair. So Extra is gonna get off another turn. And I'm gonna bring out the boy. I'm bringing out the boy. Darmantan. I'm gonna die to my Darmantan here. Set the, set the flare. So the heat won't do too, or so the water won't do too, too, too much. We'll take out Corviknight, or potentially take out Corviknight. We're sheer force. Um, but he has reflect. He does have reflect. That's what's awesome about Darmantan. This Darmantan. He cannot be burned. He can't be burned. He's fire, man. He's fire. And then I'm just gonna, hmm, just gonna go into a high horsepower over on the Slappers. Just target this thing down. See if we can do some work. But that reflect. We need that reflect gone. We need it out of here. We have sheer force, which I think it just uh boosts the attack. Physical attack at least. Big old regular Darmar Darmanitan. This Pokemon's so cool. I think this version's cooler than the uh, Galarian version, but the Galarian version's so nice with that ice typing. And he just hits like a truck on so. Look at this thing. Yeah! Yeah! Yo, you see that? He did the double fist. He's like, nah, nah. 382 HP. Pretty bulky as well in the HP category. Not bad. Let's see what happens here. Lapras protects. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine. And we're gonna get this heat rolling. High horsepower comes out. Block. It's blocked. And I should go before this thing. Can we KO? I, th I think we're gonna KO here. Let's see. Let's see, do we KO? We do. We pick up the easy KO. We get the drought going, the heat going, and the slappers can't do too, too much water damage now. Awesome, man. Awesome. And Reflect should be gone unless that thing was like I Guess I should have checked. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We're thriving now. We are thriving. It's a 3v2. We have Dynamax, and he goes out Kremig. Out Kremig gone, baby. Out Kremig gone. I'm gonna try decorating and all that good stuff. We know that's happening. And uh, do I rock fall? Do I flare? I'm gonna flare over on you. Possibly take you out, and then I'm just gonna high horsepower over on this Lapras. Over onto Lapris. Let's see what happens. High horsepower comes out first. Can we get the KO? Boop. We do. Yes, sir. We get a crit. Ooh Winning record, here we come. This should actually KO. Max Flare in the drought with that life orb. See you later, fool. And we go two and one. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, no, we don't pick up the KO. <laughs> That's when we two mega crits and we both die. And then this guy clutches it up. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine if something whack happened and we ended up losing? It's all good. Another Max Flare coming out here. We chilling. And then I outspeed anyway. High horsepower, or not high horsepower, Iron Head's gonna pick up the victory for us. This thing has Babiri Berry. This thing is Babiri Berry. Not gonna soak it up enough. GG, baby. GG. 2 1 with this team. I'm in love with this team. I'm in love with this team. So much fun. I think I gotta try it out more on the rank ladder. I really do. This G Max Grim Snarl team is so much fun to use. I highly recommend using it. Run the code is at the bottom of the screen. It's fun to Dynamax with that Grim Snarl. Absolutely dominate. Hit him hard. One tap and put him to sleep. And then we got to start Mantan also, who I'm in love with. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.